These are the, some of the tools that you're going to require to install a GMS. This is the base plate and the screws and nuts that come with it. Glasses and ear protection that are recommended. Uh, clean the work area well. The broom, make sure it's level. Prepare the base plate. Um, there are three ball mounting screws. Make sure the mounting screws come out on the other side, uh, two or three or four millimeters. Next are the plugs. Uh, you'll require an Allen key and securely fasten them with the provided nut on the other side. And there sh should be two of them on both left and right side in the front of the base plate. Place the GMS onto the base plate, making sure that it lines up underneath with the plug holes. Uh, make sure you have your compass lined it straight on the edge of the GMS. Line it up with north so that the axis from the compass is also with the direction of the arrows on the side of the GMS. Mark it with a pencil. Carefully remove it, mark the hole, this is going to be the drill hole that you're going to uh, drill. Don't forget to wear, wear protection for this. When you're done, clean off the area, put in the bolt wall fastener. You're going to require uh, the, the base plate to be placed over top of the hole and you will tighten it down with the bolt provided. You can use a ratchet. Make sure it moves a little bit so that the base plate still moves. Um, put the compass and line it up, uh, readjust it back to north. Now this is where you're going to adjust the screws and level it in both axes. Uh, you're going to need a pretty good uh, water level for this and make sure to watch that the bubble is in between the marks. And don't forget to tighten down that it's really secure. Place the GMS, remove the cover, Put in the mounting screws that secure the GMS to the base plate. Uh, on these screws you will see a small little washer that you also need to place on as well. Tighten them down securely. Place the cover back on, tighten down the cover. Now the grounding wire, you should have uh, stripped the front end of the wire, you're going to need a crimper. Place the wire inside so you see a little bit of the wire coming out one or two millimeters on the other side. Crimp it, um, you're going to have a little bolt. Uh, wafer washer on the top and a wafer washer on the bottom and there's in the front of the GMS uh, there's a little uh, place that's designed for the grounding screw. Insert the ethernet cable make sure to be careful when you're placing this in not to cross thread it should go on smoothly. Power it on plug in the AC power And yeah, that's it. I hope that's helpful. Uh, enjoy your GMS.